everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Hala from Syria. I'm a belly dance teacher, choreographer and performer. And today I'm going to teach you the second type of figure eights, which is the vertical downward figure eight or the mayas. Last video we, we learned the upward figure eights. I'm going to link it up here for you if you haven't learned it. And I talked about the basics that you have to have before you start learning this move, uh, like the upward and downward hip lifts and drops. Also, I will link it up here for you to check it out before. And also, you need to learn the hip slides. I also taught this. I'm going to link it up here for you as well. So for this movement, it's exactly the same like the upward figure eight, but the only difference is we are doing the movements in opposition. So we, instead of starting from the down, we're starting from the up. And instead of going, uh, going down, up, we're going up to down. So that's why it's called downward figure eight, because we scoop our hip downwards from up to down from up to down the other move was scooping the hip from down to up all right so it's just a different way of thinking about the movements and if you prefer to think of it as a scoop do so or if you prefer to think of it as just slides and lifts like technical uh, parts of it then do so whatever works for you Alright, let's start with the posture for this move. We need the knees bent, feet flat, pelvis tucked in, chest out and arms to the side. Same posture, <laughs> nothing changed. So for this one, I need you to start with a hip lift on the right. That's the difference. We started with a hip drop on the right last time, now hip lift. After the lift, I need you to slide out and then drop your right hip and go back to center. Okay, lift slide, drop, back, lift, slide, drop, and back. You can try to smoothen the movement, don't do it so sharp, so you get that flowy feel. Lift, out, drop, and in, lift, out, drop, and in. So that's just the right side. So one, when we go back to center, you notice that the left side is already prepped, because this one is down, so the, right, the left side is up, so we don't need to think about that. It's already up, so we go out and down. Out and down. 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 And down. Make sure your pelvis stays tucked in, so you stay in this vertical plane, and you don't move horizontally forward and back. Because these movements are very similar and once you lose your technique and you lose your plane, it's going to look different. That's why we call them vertical figure eights because we're staying in this vertical plane. Once we learn the horizontal figure eight, you will see there is absolutely no vertical movements in it and it's only horizontal, parallel to the floor at all times. So for this vertical figure eight, the up and the down, we keep it 100% vertical, no forward and back movements. All right, so down and down and down and down. For this move, make sure you keep your head level stable. Don't drop and go up like this. All right, and make sure your chest is in place. So don't wave your entire body with the movement like this. It's a nice move, but it's an entirely different move, right? So we want to keep it in the hips. Also, don't lift your feet off the floor. Don't do this. Some people find it easier to use the feet rather than using your oblique muscles, but that's the point of belly dance, right? Belly muscles, all right? So right, 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 and left, right, and left, right, and left. The knees are helping you change your range of motion. That's it. The powerhouse is your belly, all right? So right, left, and right, and left. Last time I gave you this tip if you want to practice the upward figure eight. We use the same tip for the downward figure eight. Just lock your, your legs on the floor to stabilize your lower body and to activate your obliques. So down, down, down. Down and down, 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 down. Same thing. You just hover over your feet. Don't sit completely down on your feet. Hover and try to do the figure eight. It's a great workout for your obliques and thighs. <laughs> All right. So 
Let's practice slowly at first and then we speed it up. So eight slow counts and then eight quick ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see from the back. Eight slow and eight quick counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's try it with some music. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I have more videos coming for you every Tuesday and Friday in English. <laughs> thank you, see you in the next one!